Okay, Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ. Bahasham is in the name. Rakaha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. And also Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring in its truth for the sake of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. And Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and sincerity. Shalom. This is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. And the title of this video, Lord willing. Uh, well, I'm just going to go into 2 Corinthians, the, uh, the sixth chapter. You know, Lord willing. And I'm just going to read through this chapter here, Lord willing. Uh, this lesson is edifying here. Uh, let me start at the top. It says, We then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of the Most High in vain. Okay, because you don't want to have, you know, you don't want to receive this grace, you know, in vain. You know, you, you know, you thinking that you can do whatever you want. You know, uh, scriptures talk about using, uh, uh, like grace, uh, like a cloak of maliciousness, if I'm not mistaken. First Peter's two and sixteen it says, as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of God. Okay, you know, you know, we are under grace. You know, we do have certain liberties in this truth. Okay, but you don't want to you don't want to uh use that, you know, ultimately for your destruction, man. Okay. Um verse two it says, For as he saith I have heard thee in a time accepted and in a day of salvation have I secured uh sec secured thee behold now is the now is the acceptable time accepted time behold now is the day of salvation okay let me let me actually transfer to the blue letter here Let me get that word uh secure secure Strong's G nine ninety seven by a Theo by a Theo and it says to help uh bring aid. Alright. So jumping back to verse two it says for he said I have heard thee in the in a time accepted and in a day of salvation have I secured thee, you know, helped thee, aided thee. Behold, now is the now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. You know, not going not meaning like the literal day, okay, because no man knows the day or hour, all right, but this is the time of salvation. Okay, when you go to uh Romans 13 and 11 it says uh, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed our salvation is not okay we see these prophecies coming to pass so this is the time to get right okay because we are we are in the end days man you know the apostles had because uh, it was a video that the uh, elder brother in um, New York had did I believe his channel is GMS Awakening um, talking about the apostles saying that the year 2000 was the year 
okay? Fast forward now, it's 22 years later, man, okay? And we're seeing, you know, and a lot of men have come into the truth, you know, in those 22 years, okay? And now we're seeing certain prophecies, okay? The chip is becoming more and more evident. News articles, uh, will you accept the chip as your payment? You know, an implant, man. Okay, so we are at, we are at the end. Any day, you know, Esau can have all hell breaking loose, man. You know, so we in that we in that day of salvation. Now is our salvation nearer than we believe. It says, verse three it says, giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. Okay giving no offense man all right you know that the ministry be not blamed you know and these a lot of these different camps you know they they're gonna have this ministry being blamed by that carnality man okay but we got to do the things on our end you know to have this ministry not blamed you know one thing you know is yeah it's it's lawful to do certain things man but it's not expedient man you know, putting the sodomite to death, man. That's making the ministry blame, man. In the eyes of the Heavenly Father, yeah, it's according to the law, okay, but you don't have the full understanding if you're doing that because so the scriptures talk about following the laws of the land. And um, I have the, uh, the translation of the NLT on the right side here. And it says for verse three, we live in such a way that no that no one will will stumble because of us. OK, you're going to have people stumble, you know, if you're put inside of my to death. All right. And you're being thrown into prison, man. You know, the scripture says, you know, in this same chapter is going to talk about uh, suffering imprisonment. OK, but not not on your own accord, man. OK. That's having a ministry at blame, you know. On the news, yeah, black Hebrew is like kills a kills a sodomite or kills a gay. Black Hebrew is like kills a kills a white man. They hate white people, you know. Vengeance, vengeance is of the Lord. Okay, so we gotta wait upon Yahweh Shem Shah. He's gonna uh, he's gonna put that anger into us, man. All right, you got these different camps posted up with guns and all that, man. Okay, and you just had to shoot in New York. That's all you need, man. So these, you know, so scripture says, giving no offense to anything that the ministry be not blamed, man. Be not blamed. It says, uh, I'm going to read verse three again in the NLT. It says, we live in such a way that no man will stumble because of us and no one will find fault with us. Our ministry, man. You see? Hey, yeah. and through the spirit and power, y'all, Bashim Al Shai, you know, trying to find no fault within. Uh, that's why the apostles and elders are so strict, are so uh, strict on, you know, really like being carnal, man. You know, they give us liberty, okay, but they don't tolerate the carnality, man. All right, because we're, we're a faith based and we're a spiritual based uh, camp, man. All right. And verse four, uh, back to the KJV, verse four, it says, but in all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of God. All right. As the servants. OK, it's, it says in much patience, patience goes back to enduring suffering. Or it says it says in afflictions and necessities and distresses. OK, necessities is things that are required. Okay, and what does the Lord require of his servants? Okay, for you to read, for you to study, for you to do your lessons, man. Every day, man. Okay, to the best of your ability, if you can do it every, you know, if you can't, if, you, if something happens one day, you can't do it, you make it up the next day, man. Going out to the highways and byways, these are these are necessities as being a servant of your how about Shimei Oshar, man. It's not optional, man. Okay, it says, in distresses. It says, 
it says in uh in stripes and imprisonments that's the uh, you know imprisonments man okay being put put into prison man okay but that's going to happen on the a core you know not like self will like you shooting somebody down yeah i'm in prison i'm facing the affirmities of of the lord you know no man that's not that's not what the lord is speaking of man you know you being thrown into prison for you not wanting not wanting to uh take the chip that's a whole different story man that's 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 you doing it for your how about me out shot man okay but you going into prison because you wanted to run over an edomite in your car man that's that's not the spirit of the lord man and that's not wisdom man okay uh it says in stripes and imprisonments and tumults and labors and watchings and fastings okay and watching we're supposed to be watching these prophecies okay and fastings we 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 supposed to be fasting you know when we can man okay that one mandatory day when you're supposed to fast okay it's day of atonement okay it's also good to fast day before passover okay it's good to fast you know periodically throughout the year man okay and let me get a quick precept on that imprisonment in uh, Revelations 3 and verse uh, Revelations 2 and 10 it says fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer behold the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation 10 days, 10 days going into completion. It says, be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life. Okay. See, that's devil shall cast something into prison that you may be tried. Okay. So not you putting upon your own hands to go into prison, man. Okay. It's going to be of the will. Of, it's everything of the will of the Lord, man. Okay. But you want to be wise in your decisions, man. Not putting your own self in trouble. Okay, because you want to react carnally and not wait on the Lord. Okay, verse 6, it says, By pureness, well, let me read 5 again, it says, In stripes and, in, and imprisonments and tumults and labors and work and watchings and fastings. Okay, all right. Uh, verse 6 says, By pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, by love unfeigned. Okay, and I looked into that word unfeigned earlier. Let me just pull it back up. Love unfeigned. Well, I had it in a blue letter. I could have just looked it up there. Uh, but it says uh, sincere. Let me see what it says in the blue letter. All right, because we got to be sincere in our love towards you. How about Shimei Oshai? And our love towards the brother. Yep unfeigned undisguised all right not none of that fake love that this world promotes okay it says sincere man sincere love okay it says by the word of by the word of truth by the power of the most high by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and left and on the left the armor of righteousness you know this this truth this word Okay, verse 8, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true. Okay, because we're going to be, uh, we're going to be honored in this society, of course, by the, uh, by the elect, okay, the 144, the one third, the moonable multitude, men, women, and children that believe, Okay. Okay, and and when serving the Lord, you're gonna be dishonored as well. Okay, they they dishonor our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right, and the scripture says the Lord is not greater than his uh, than his servant. Okay, it says and and uh, it says by evil report and good report as deceivers and yet true. Okay, these people think that we we that we. These people think that we deceiving the people, okay? We have a, 
We have the devil. They say, yeah, I'm shy. I had the devil, man. Okay. And I'm going to read verse eight in the NLT on the right hand side here. It says we serve God, whether people honor us or despise us, man. So whether people hear or whether they forbear, man. All right. We still going to push this word. That's that's just a condition of the battle that we have to go through. It says whether they slander us or praise us. You know, scripture says uh, wiping the dust off your feet, man. You know, hey, it is what it is. Not everybody is going to get this truth, man. And that's the beauty of this thing, man. We're not coming to gather all all Israel. And we're damn sure not coming to gather all nations, man. This is only for the elect of the nation of Israel, man. It says, uh, we are honest, but they call us imposters. We had a, a fucking a Jake Sodomite damn near part damn near a tear man but we brothers believe he was jake but in so much engulfed into esau you know he said leave leave those con honors alone man you know they a con artist man let me actually look into that word con con artist like somebody that's trying to like scam you or something if i'm not mistaken Con artist. <laughs> it says a person who cheats or tricks others by persuading them to believe something that is not true. Man, hey, unless he repent, I highly doubt it, man. Death to that, death to that Jake, man. He's gonna die in nuclear fire, man. Calling us a con artist, man. You really calling your how about you shy con artist, man? All right, it says a person who cheats or tricks others by persuading them to believe something that is not true. Like, what what do we get out of, you know, every day, you know, every day and every weekend, week out, every day doing videos just to persuade people to believe something that's not true, man. We will be truly wasting our, we'll be wasting our time, man, you know, but this is the truth, man. You know, a fucking con artist, man. Hey, death to that nigga, man. All right. Uh, verse 9. Back to the KJV, 2 Corinthians 6 and verse 9. It says, as unknown and yet well known. All right. We, we're, on, we're unknown, you know, in this world. All right. But we're well known, Lord willing, in the spiritual realm, man. Okay. In the eyes of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, because that's really the only thing that matters being well known to him. Okay? Alright, because the Lord, hey, I the Lord gonna be he gonna be saying to a lot of people, depart from me, ye worker of iniquity. I know you not, man. Okay? It says, as dying, and behold, we live. Okay. Uh that brings me made me think of wisdom of Solomon in the fifth chapter. You know, uh, it says, let me just finish off. I'll go there real quick. As chastened and not killed. Uh, what it says, like, um, well, let me just go see if it, the one I'm speaking, thinking of. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5. And... Uh, Wisdom Solomon 5 and 1, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. Amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Okay, and they repented and groaning for anguish. A spirit shall say within themselves, this was he. When we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach, we fools account his life madness and to it is in his end to be without honor. Okay? And um I know it's another one that I like seem to die. <laughs> this is it. Wisdom of Solomon three and verse two. 
I'll start at the top. It says, but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of God and there shall no torment touch them in the sight of the unwise. They seemed to die and their departure taken from misery and they're going from us to be utter destruction. But they are in peace. Yep, that's the one I wanted. Call out your shot. All right. You know. You know, so let me read that again. As unknown and yet well known, as dying and behold, we live as chastened and not killed, man. Okay? Hey, we're going through these afflictions, man. Okay, but even if you do quote unquote die for the sake of Yahweh Shmuel Shai, okay, you're gonna be risen back up, man. Okay, just as our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay. Uh verse 10 says, as sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. Okay, we're we're in a state of sorrow, okay, but it's a balance to it that the Lord gives us, man. When we're around the brothers, we're rejoicing, we're laughing, you know, we can uh we, we have a drink, you know, we, we we in the spirit, man. Holy conversation, man. Okay, but yeah, we are in that sorrowful state. We're crying out to the Lord to deliver us from the hands of our enemies, but yet always rejoicing, man. Okay? We're always rejoicing around the brothers, man. All right. <clears throat> it says, as poor, yet making many rich. All right. Rich in what? Rich in faith, man. Okay. And it says, um, actually, let me get the one in Revelation real quick. Uh, Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, rich in faith. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Okay. You know, uh, an apostle uh, Gabar went into a while back. It's really talking about uh, uh, our, our people, you know, the nation of Israel pretending to be, you know, as if they, you know, trying to put on that image, but they're really as Satan. Okay. But also you can go twofold. You know, those fake Jews pretending to be us, man. Okay, but we are rich in faith, man. All right. So going back to uh, back to Corinthians 10, verse 10, it says, uh, yet making many rich, it says, as having nothing yet possessing all things, man, because the earth was given for our sakes, man. The world was made for our sakes, man. All okay? right. You know, and we're going to get it in due time. It says, O ye Corinthians, our mouth is open unto you. Our heart is enlarged. Meaning they was uh they was feeding they they have they wasn't shunning to give them the whole gospel. It says yet it says ye are not straightened in us, but ye are straightened in your own bowels. It says, Now for a recompense in the same I speak as unto unto my children, be also enlarged. Okay, so so they want, uh, pretty much they wanted them to open up, how they was opening up to them. They want them to open it up, uh, back to them as well. Okay, because you're reading the NLT right here, verse thirteen it says, "I'm asking you to respond as if you were my children. Open your hearts to us. Hearts be in your mind." All right. And uh, verse 14 says, be not uh, back to the KJV. <coughs> oh, yeah. Back to the KJV. Verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? All right. Going back to Amos 3 and 3. Let me get that real quick. It says, can two walk together except they be agreed? Okay. Answer is no. That's a rhetorical question. All right. Two can't walk together all right, unless they agree. Light and dark don't mix, man. Okay. All right. That's why scriptures also say, uh, let me just pull it real quick. Corrupt. Communication going back to a manner of life. First Corinthians 15 and 33, be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Evil communications going back to manner of life, man. It says corrupt good manners, man. All right. 
the good manners of these scriptures, man. And, uh, verse 15 2 Corinthians 6 and 15 And what con uh, what concord Have Hamashiach with Baal or, or what part have he that believeth With an infidel man An unbeliever A believer and an unbeliever man You can't you can't teach together man You can't do videos together You can't What, what really is on a spiritual level can you relate man With an unbeliever man you, it's, it's no there's no relation there, all right, as far as spirituality, bro, all right? You know, Scripture says iron sharpened of iron, okay? But if you're with an unbeliever, that's iron and rust, man. Your 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 iron is going to get rusty, all right, from that rust, from the unbeliever, okay? It says, in what agreement have the temple of the Most High with idols, okay? You know, temples of idols, man, got pork, fucking cigarettes, <laughs> Black and miles, man, just filth, man. All right, uh, temples of God, man. Frankincense and myrrh, you know. Uh, Palo Santo, man, just fresh, fresh and good, good vibes, as they say, man. Okay, what agreement have the temple of the Most High with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. Our, you know, our body, man, is the temple of the living God, man. It says, as, as the Most High have said, I will dwell in them, and walk in them and I will be their power and they shall be my people All right? and we have no fellowship with temples of idols man okay temples of idols is filthy man temples of the most high is pure man that's how we gotta be man verse 17 wherefore coming out from among them be ye separate holy Kodash. okay it says saith the lord so this is thus saith the lord to be separate man and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, man. Okay, so let go of the uncleanness in the, in the Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Okay, he's going to uh, sup with you, man. Let me get a quick pre. Verse 3. Revelation 3 and 20 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and if, if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him. And we'll sup with him and he with me. So the Lord, hey, he waited for you with open arms, man. Okay, but you got to separate yourself from the filth. Okay, receive this word, man. Receive this cleanness, spiritual cleanness, man. Okay, then the Lord is going to sup with you, man. All right. It says, uh, let me read 17 again. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate. Save the Lord and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. All right, we got to separate ourselves from this world, man. Plain and simple. It says, and, and we'll be a father unto you. The Lord is going to teach you, guide you, as a like just as a as a father figure will do in this world. It says, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. No. So I just wanted to touch on that chapter there, man. You know, these are the times that we're living. All these, this whole chapter, man. You know, these are like examples of how, of how the elect is going to, you know, they're going to behave themselves, man. Okay, the the sufferings, the things we got to go through, man, to be approved of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. Okay, because it said, um. Uh, verse 4, it said, 2 Corinthians 6 and 4, it says, But in all things, approving ourselves as the minister, as the ministers of, 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 of the Most High. All right. And in NLT, it says, In everything we do, we show that we are true ministers of God, man. Ministers, minister, go back to serve. All right. We're true service of Yahweh Bashim Shah, man. All right. So with that, Lord, we'll this video to the final and give all praise, honor, and glory. To Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David, to the next house, and I say Shalom, and a Baba Ba, Shalom.